Okay, the holidays are coming, but is your house ready for guests? I'm gonna give you some hotel home hacks that are designed to make your house feel more like a hotel and make everything a lot cozier and more comfortable. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to suggest is to look at your lighting. One of the most important things about lighting is that you wanna go for warm lighting at your home. Always go for warm. There's a warmth scale. They recommend that 2500K is sort of like what you aim for in your light bulb, but essentially it just means a pretty fairly warm light bulb. I've got these lamps here that I'm gonna show you. For example, these are like touch lamps. I like to have them in my room. I think the most important thing here, you wanna have lamps and lights on a dimmer whenever you can. That just really easily allows you to go from daytime lighting to like a winding down nighttime lighting and you can just do it with a flip of the switch. The next thing is to add plants. I think that bringing the outdoors in is just such a good thing to do in your house. It makes your house feel so much better. It also helps with the air quality in your home. A lot of these plants are helping sort of to clean the air. So in addition to looking really nice, they're also very functional. I would suggest as much as you can, you know, they've got plants for all different types of people. If you forget to water your plants, they have plants that thrive on having no water. They've also got plants that require a little bit more upkeep. I've got all kinds of plants in my house. I love plants. I think they just give the house just such a nice feeling, but I also think they look really nice. I think it's nice to just have nature inside. Think about flowers as well. I know a lot of people who go to the grocery store and they'll just pick up a bouquet of flowers and they'll have that for the entire week. And it just makes their home feel homier and cozier and fresher. If you can't do these things, I also think there are really good fake house plants and fake flowers and, and almost like sticks and greenery and leaves and different things that you can bring into your home. Next is thinking about your bathroom and investing in cohesive looking containers. Instead of just having your toothbrushes and your toothpaste sitting out there or your soap in the store-bought container, think about investing in those containers so you've got your soap and your toothbrushes and your toothpaste, all of the things that you need in these nice cohesive looking containers. You can also put things like cotton balls, lotion, Q-tips, all of these things. Having this on your vanity in your bathroom, I think just makes it look a little bit more elevated and looks a little bit more like a hotel. The other thing while we're in the bathroom is to invest in quality towels. I did this several years ago and it was, it was life-changing. I honestly did not realize how good it was to have nice towels. I kind of, they were on, these towels that I have, they were on sale, I bought them on a whim but they just made such a difference. They're so much plusher and nicer and absorbent and they're a little bit bigger. I don't like the huge bath sheets. I think those get a little bit like overwhelming and unruly and then it's just like more laundry to do, let's be honest. But I do like the, the size that I have here. It's just kind of like your standard towel size. I think it's great. Okay, next is your bed. You know, I've talked so many times about how much time we actually spend in our rooms and so investing in good quality bedding is what you wanna do here. So a couple things. First of all, I think to get that you should get a mattress topper. I will link the one I have below. It has changed our bed. It has made our bed so much more comfortable, so much nicer. It, honestly, like we were gonna buy a new mattress. We added this mattress topper. We love it. We sleep so much better because of it. Our bed is so much more comfortable. And it. we ended up getting them for all of the kids. Everybody in the house loves it. The other thing is to... Think about your sheets. They have all kinds of sheets. I think bamboo sheets are the nicest. They have a little bit of a cooling effect so you don't get too hot, but then they're also just like soft and nice. They have all different price ranges. I'll link a couple of the favorites that I have below, but I think investing in some nice sheets is also a really good hack when you're trying to go for that hotel look. And I like colored sheets, but white is also a really good trick if you wanna go with the hotel theme. The next is to think about your pillows, and I will also link a pillow that I love, but having nice pillows, quality pillows, is really important. I personally like the orthopedic pillow. It supports my neck and spine the best, but I'll link the pillow that my husband loves. He's got this nice, big, fluffy pillow, and he is obsessed with it, and my son is also obsessed with this pillow. Again, I think it's like $60 or something like that, but it's totally worth the investment to have a great night's sleep. And again, if you wanna have that hotel feeling, 
the bedding is where you need to invest. Okay, my next hotel hack is to think about the smell. Not a lot of people think about the way that their house smells, but every house has a particular scent to it. What I like to do is I have a couple of diffusers and I like to put essential oils in them. I think it just makes the house smell really nice. A lot of times if you want the house to smell fresh and clean, they say to go for citrus smells. I kind of feel like when your house smells good and smells fresh and clean, it makes your house feel clean. Definitely think about the way that it smells. I think that's a good hotel hack. When was the last time you went to a hotel and it was super cluttered? Never, right? It's just the essentials. So I encourage you to think about that for your own house. What can you get rid of? You have a lot of knickknacks around, things that make the space feel a little bit cluttered and smaller. Not only is it a good way to keep your house clean if you have less clutter, but it's also a good way to make it feel more like a hotel and feel a little bit more elevated. And then next is to add some mirrors. This is such an inexpensive way to really help open up your house. If you think about it, mirrors, they make a room appear bigger, they reflect light, they make it brighter in the house. Think about the spaces in your house where you can hang mirrors, maybe you prop up a mirror. I've got a mirror propped up in my entryway just on top of this hutch here, and it really opens up the space and makes it feel larger than it is. Hotels do this all the time. They have lots of different mirrors to make their room feel larger, to make the room feel brighter. So I think in getting some mirrors and putting them strategically around your house could really elevate your space and, and make it more hotel-like. Okay, next, think about the fabrics around your home. Think about throw pillows and fabrics and blankets. Those are key to making a room feel cozy. If you've got a room and you don't have any pillows or blankets or curtains, it doesn't feel as cozy as a room that does have it. So I encourage you to sort of think about where you can add these little touches and it will immediately up the coziness factor of that room. Okay, next is to have tables around for drinks. So if you're in your living room and you look around, if you've got guests and they're sitting down, is there somewhere that they can put a drink down that's easily accessible to wherever they're sitting? If the answer is no, I would say try to invest in some little coffee tables or little tables, little side tables, whatever you can, and just have these little spaces where guests can put drinks down. I have this ottoman that is fabric, so it's not really ideal to put a drink down. They also sell these trays. I can link some below. They, they have these trays that you can put on top and then you can easily put your drink down. You can put food down. I think these trays are really handy. I also think they're great because I put them on top of my coffee tables and they just kind of contain everything in that little space and they just look a little bit neater. Okay, next is to think about your flooring. If you've got stone or tile flooring, that can often feel very cold to the touch, but just kind of cold feeling as well. They sell all kinds of great rugs that you can use to cover up that floor space and just make it a little bit cozier. Okay, my last thing is to think about the seating in your, in your, ho in your room, <laughs> not in your hotel. Think about the seating in your house. Do you have little areas where people can sit and talk and it feels intimate? If you've got like a big living room and then all of the furniture is spread out up against the walls, I really encourage you to think about reorganizing your space a little bit differently. You can push furniture together, create these intimate little seating areas. Maybe your living room is big enough that you even have two of these areas. A lot of people these days have open floor plans of their house, and it's a great idea to just make these smaller areas so that people don't feel like they're so far apart or far away from one another. It really makes the room feel a lot cozier and, and more interesting looking as well. Distance across your furniture, it's just unwelcoming. So think about areas where you can remove that distance. Okay, those are my hotel hacks and ways to make your home more inviting. Thanks for watching. If you stuck around till the end, come on over with me to my Christmas gift ideas for her. I have a lot of great ideas and we can get in the holiday mood. See you over there.